Hi everybody, I'm meteorologist Jessica Conley. Uh, we are going to bring you the latest update on ELSA. Uh, we just got some flash flood warnings issued in uh, much of southern Maine and into New Hampshire too. So we want to talk about what's happening right now with the storm. ELSA technically not considered a tropical storm anymore, but it's a post-tropical storm. Don't worry about the wording too much. Doesn't really matter. It still means we're going to get a lot of rain from this, and we're already seeing that right now. And that's why uh, the National Weather Service has has issued these flash flood warnings. So let's take a look at what's happening out there right now on the radar. You can see obviously a lot of rain falling, especially across southern and parts of central Maine. Uh, I'll zoom in a little bit so we can see again exactly what's happening out there today. Very heavy rain in place. You can see in these green outline boxes, those are the flash flood warnings. Now with this much rain falling at this speed, the potential is there for roads to flood. Small streams of course could flood very easily as well. Uh, I just drove from South Portland to Portland about a half an hour or so ago and you can tell some of the streets already getting you know puddling, pooling, that kind of stuff. Of course if you run into a flooded roadway please 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 turn around and don't drive through. It does not take a lot of water to be able to uh, make your car stall or not be able to drive. So we don't want that to happen, of course, to anyone. So again, this flash flood warning goes all the way from the main New Hampshire border up to North Yarmouth over to the coast. That includes Bath, Brunswick, Freeport, down to Portland and all the way through York County. Uh, this one flash flood warning again is in effect until uh, further notice. We'll keep an eye on that. We are, let me zoom back out so you can just see how much rain we still have to go. Again, please, please, please be very careful. The good news is that Elsa will eventually move out of here tonight, but for the next several hours, we are gonna be dealing with uh, the effects of Elsa, and the biggest one will be this flooding rain. So again, it's post-tropical Elsa. Don't worry too much about the name. It just means it's lost some of its tropical characteristics. No surprise, because we have much colder water here, but still causing uh, lots of flooding issues. A flash flood watch, that's not as uh, significant as a flash flood warning, but the flash flood watch is in effect uh, for all of the areas here shaded in green. That includes up through central and eastern Maine and into parts of northern Maine as well. So again, here's where the flash flood warning is located. I'll zoom in so you can kind of see it includes all the way up to and through Brunswick over to Bath, down through Harpswell, Yarmouth, North Yarmouth, Cumberland, of course, Portland, out to Gorham, Hollis, Standish, you're all included uh, in this flash flood warning. Of course, that's because this very, very heavy rain is falling and has continued to fall for the past couple of hours here over to Waterboro down to Sanford, North Berwick. Uh, it, there definitely is potential that we'll see these flash flood warnings get extended as we go through again the next couple of hours or so. And we'll jump on here to uh, let you know what's happening as this storm continues to move through. Another flash flood warning down for uh, southern York County along the New Hampshire seacoast all through uh, parts of southern uh, southeastern New Hampshire as well. So please, again, please be careful with this storm. Here's a look at the latest track for Elsa. Again, it's uh, already in our area by eight o'clock tonight. You can see it'll be just offshore uh, the down east coast and it's going to buzz on out of here as we go through the overnight hours tonight. So certainly good news there. We'll see this out of here by tomorrow morning. So let's go through the hour by hour forecast here. We'll just kind of take our time going through this. This model's doing okay as far as the initial uh, initialization initialization that's tough of this goes uh, you can see these very heavy rain bands though continue through the next several hours 4 p.m tonight we'll see heavy rain into central maine along the mid coast starting along the down east coast as well and you can see that kind of secondary rain band back into parts of northern and western maine let's go through the rest of this evening here so five o'clock tonight we'll start to see things wrapping up potentially in far southern maine Six o'clock tonight, it's really pouring along the mid coast, along the down east coast as well. Uh, Seven o'clock tonight, let's go through about 8 p.m. And you can see things still raining quite a bit in Bangor. Now, southern Maine will start to clear out at this point. So Elsa is moving extremely quickly. This is very, very fast paced. Uh, storm. So the good news is that as we go into 9, 10, 11 o'clock, and certainly by around midnight tonight, things will just continue to move out of here, and it's looking good for the day tomorrow. Look at tomorrow afternoon, 75 and sunny. It's going to be fantastic. But of course, we're still dealing with Elsa tonight. Um, 
So let me go back to the radar and I'll try to jump on and see if you guys have any questions. Again, this is expected to la uh, last to continue for the next several hours in southern Maine and then it will wrap up as we go into a little bit later on this evening. I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see kind of where the center of Elsa is located, uh, kind of just to the southeast of Boston, kind of to the northwest of Cape Cod here is about the center of this storm. You can see where it's spinning there. So still a few more hours to go for Elsa, um, certainly in southern Maine and eastern and northern Maine, uh, central and eastern Maine, I should say. You'll have a few more hours um, for sure. This will go definitely into this evening. So let me just jump on and see what you guys are doing. Please, please be careful if you're out there tonight, especially if you're camping. Yeah, definitely flooding rain. Please be careful for sure. Um, if you're doing any driving, again, just make sure to take your time out there for sure. Um, if you do see any flooding or anything like that, and as long as you are safe, of course, we would love for you to send us pictures. Um, you can go on the News Center main app and in the Near Me section, you can submit your photos or videos there. Uh, easiest way for us to be able to use them online is if you take a photo uh, or video with your phone tilted horizontally. It's a little bit easier for us to put them on TV, but of course we would appreciate that only if, if you are 100% completely safe and it's safe to do that. Just trying to read some of your comments here. Hi to everyone that's saying hello. Again, please just be safe out there. Um, so that's the current status of this. You can obviously follow all of our social media accounts as well. Um, I'm going to be in tonight for all of the shows starting at 4 p.m. Keith is going to be out tonight, out in the storm and telling you about what's happening um, along the kind of almost to the mid coast, I believe is still the plan. So we're gonna have full coverage of course for you starting at four. Um, if we do see another flash flood warning or one gets extended, we'll, we'll likely jump back on here and try to keep you updated on this. Um, if you do have questions or anything like that, feel free to post them here and I'll try to hop on social media um, and, and check those for you for sure on Facebook and try to answer your questions. Again, uh, biggest thing to remember is if you come across a flooded road, please, 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 don't drive through it. Things are gonna get extremely deep in a very short amount of time. We're seeing rainfall rates uh, potentially up to an inch or two an hour. So that is definitely, uh, you know, could potentially create flash flooding as we go through the rest of the night tonight. Feel free to send us your reports as well. You can send those to us again on the app or you can send us those to us via um, Facebook or Twitter or email or whatever works for you. But number one thing, definitely be safe. Um, so we will see you in a little bit. Again, at least we'll see you on TV at 4. Otherwise, um, again, just be safe for the rest of the afternoon, and we will see you soon. Thanks so much.